Good evening, everyone. I'd like to call this meeting of Allegheny County Council to order. Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, one God, indivisible, indivisible, and justice for all. Thank you. Please remain standing for a moment of silent prayer or silent reflection. Thank you. Please be seated. Jared, please take roll. Ms. Bennett. Here. Mr. Betkowski. Here. Mr. DeMarco. Here. Mr. Dewar. Here. Ms. Filiaggi. Here. Mr. Fatulis. Here. Ms. Hallam. Here. Mr. Klein. Here. Mr. Macy. Ms. Nacaretti Chapkis. Mr. Paul Mary. Here. Mr. Paul Messina. Here. Ms. Prizio. Here. Mr. Walton. Here. President Katina. Here. We have 13 members present. Thank you. We'll begin with proclamations and certificates. Um, 12429-22. A proclamation recognizing September as Love Your Library Month in Allegheny County, sponsored by Council Member DeMarco and all other members of Council. Folks, it's that time of year again. It's Love Your Library Month. I'd like to invite our special guests up this evening. We have from the Allegheny County Library Association, their new CEO, Amy Anderson. And we have from the Carnegie Library of Pittsburgh, the new president and director of the Carnegie Libraries of Pittsburgh, Andrew Medlar. And he's here with Carlin Voss, who's the external affairs and government relations person. I'd like to invite you all up. Come, come on up here. <laughs> All of us, you know, when we were growing up, all utilized our libraries, you know, going to school. And I'm old, so <laughs> back then we didn't have computers. If I wanted to learn anything, I had to learn it at the library, okay? So while some things have changed, so have the libraries. And so has the way that you've interacted with the communities and helped inform, you know, not just all the members of the community, but especially our youngest as they're growing up, and how you serve as an incredible resource for those communities. Because of that, we put together a proclamation. I'd like to read it here right now. <clears throat> Whereas today's libraries are vibrant, community centers that provide information access to residents of all ages, offering innovative resources and fueling creativity and civic engagement. And whereas the libraries help children and families discover new and exciting worlds through collections, access to computers, digital resources, and special programming. And whereas all libraries in Allegheny County benefit from the philanthropic gifts to supplement annual budgets that enable them to enhance their services and programs that are available to all county residents. And whereas the Love Your Library campaign began in 2016 as a way for library lovers in Allegheny County to support their local libraries and sustain essential services. And whereas Love Your Library Month has helped the Allegheny County Library Association and its member libraries raise awareness about the importance of libraries, library cards, and the services available to all people in our communities. And whereas Love Your Library has been generously supported by the Jack Buncher Foundation by providing significant matching funds and promotional dollars to market the initiative, and whereas the library donors have contributed more than 5.4 million during the first six years of Love Your Library, and whereas Love Your Library has created more library advocates by encouraging customers, library board members, and staff to participate in a unifying countywide effort. And whereas Love Your Library will once again take place during the month of September, 2022, and all donations made to any library in Allegheny County in September will be generously matched in part by the Jack Puncher Foundation. And whereas all, excuse me, all library lovers in Allegheny County are encouraged to show their library love during the month of September, 2022. Now, therefore, it be resolved that we, Allegheny County Council members, me and all members of council, do hereby recognize the month of September 2022 as Love Your Library Month 2022 in Allegheny County. Thank you very much. Would you folks like to say a few words? Amy, do you want to go first? Sure, sure. Um, Council, thank you all so much for this proclamation. We really appreciate it, and we encourage you to go out and love your library this month. 
Thank you. I'm uh, very honored to be here with my colleagues to give our thanks to all of you for your support of libraries. And I think many of us have memories of our experiences, as you, as you mentioned, Councilman, and the opportunity to every day to pass that on to the next generation is such an honor. And we thank you for your partnership and support in that for all of our neighbors across Allegheny County. Thank you. No, you guys go get off because we have to go take pictures. Oh, okay. Okay. Excellent. So let me give you a proclamation. Very good. Thank you very much. And let's go. Let's go take pictures. Right. What? Yes. <laughs> Thanks. I do. Okay. Are you ready? No problem. So before we go on, if whoever's joining us by phone, if you could mute your phone, it would be appreciated. Also, we're having some technical difficulties with the mics tonight. So if you're not speaking, can you please make sure your mic is off? Um, and obviously, you might need to speak up because of those technical difficulties. We're waiting on some parts, obviously, I'm told. Uh, so it'll be, it potentially could be about a month. So keep that in mind when you're giving a report or when you're speaking. So thank you. 12430-22. A proclamation recognizing and congratulating pastors Brian and Dion Edmonds on their 10th anniversary as pastors, sponsored by Council Member Bennett. 12431 I'm sorry. One two. I'm reading the wrong one. One two four three one dash two two. A proclamation recognizing and congratulating Barton's Flowers and Bake Shop on the occasion of their 40th anniversary in business, sponsored by Councilmember Macy. One two four three two dash two two. A proclamation honoring the life of the late Cindy Klopala. Oh man. Kalupalo, who was a dedicated EMS service provider, sponsored by Councilmember Prizio. Um. One two four three three dash two two. Uh, that matter is being held until the twentieth. Uh, the recipient of the proclamation is able to attend that meeting. Okay. One two four three four dash two two. A proclamation recognizing September eleventh, two thousand twenty-two, is National Grandparents Day in Allegheny County, sponsored by Council Members Hallam, Nacaretti, Chapkis, and Bennett. One two four three five dash two two. A proclamation recognizing and congratulating Pennsylvania One Call on its fiftieth anniversary, protecting utility lines, sponsored by Council Member Macy and all other members of Council. One two four three six dash two two. A proclamation congratulating William Brooks on his retirement, fighting for workers as president of Pittsburgh Building and Construction Trades Council, sponsored by Council Member Palmasina. Is there any public comment on any agenda items? Not on agenda items. Okay, approval of minutes, 12440-22. A motion to approve the minutes of the July 12, 2022 regular meeting of council. Motion has, been, motion has been made and seconded. Any discussion? Hearing no discussion, all those in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. All those aye. opposed, motion carries. Presentation of appointments, 12423-22. Approving the appointment of Jim Pottinger to the Friends of the Park for Boyce Park for a term to expire on September 13th, 2025, sponsored by Councilmember Nacaretti Chavkis. That will go to appointment review. 12424-22. Approving the appointment of Lisa Carlucci to the Friends of the Park for Boyce Park for a term to expire on September 13th, 2025, sponsored by Councilmember Nacaretti Chavkis. Um, actually, for Friends of the Parks in the past, We've always passed them at, I mean, we've technically haven't objected to passing some of these at council. Does anyone object? I mean, obviously I could send all of these. Okay. I object. Oh, um, I'd like to motion to waive the second reading on this chunk of appointments. Is there a second? Second. Motion has, second. Been, motion has been made and seconded. Is there a? Yeah, discussion. I, there may be an issue, Mr. Campus and I are conferring about the the new Friends of the Park ordinance, we believe mandates that all Friends of the Park appointments go to Friends of the Park. Okay. I go to appointment review, I'm sorry. Okay. I withdraw my motion. Thank you. 124-24-22. 
Uh, that's the appointment of Lisa Carlucci to the Friends of the Park for Boys Park return to expire September 13th, 2025, sponsored by Councilmember Nacaretti Chapkis. Appointment review. One, two, four, two. I'm just going to say one, two, four, two through five through one, two, four, two, eight. I'll go to appointment review. You can read them. Thank you. One, two, four, two, five is the appointment of Aaron Yahushek to the Friends of the Park for Boys Park for return to expire September 13th, 2025. Uh, 12426 is the appointment of Carly Bitsura Mazaros to the same body with the same expiration date. 12427 is the appointment of Ed Bouchette to the same body with the same expiration date. 12428 is the appointment of Linda Wilkins to the same body with the same expiration date. All of those are sponsored by Councilmember Nacaretti Chavkis. Unfinished business. Committee on appointment review for the second reading. 12391-22. Approving the appointment of George Janosko Esquire to serve as county solicitor immediately upon confirmation by county council, sponsored by the chief executive. Thank you. Councilman Klein, could you make that motion since council or since council Nakarati Shapkis isn't here? Oh, I'm yes. Uh, oh, are you are you on? I am. Okay, sorry, I didn't know you were on. Go ahead. No, that's Hey, but go ahead, move forward with the, I, I'd like to move forward with the motion. Is there a second? Second. second. Motion has been made and seconded. Any discussion? Yes. Uh, I, uh, I, I anticipate that this will be a unanimous vote of council, but if it's not, so be it. Uh, I laud the appointment, and in, his, in the appointment review committee, uh, Mr. Janosko, you know, uh, overwhelmed us all with his integrity, his character, his diligence, and the honor and, uh, and the joy that he gets from serving. So it's a real pleasure for me to, uh, to, to tell, tell everyone that I'm going to vote yes, and I'm glad to have him on board. Anyone else? Does this need to be a roll call vote, or are we, are we okay with a voice vote? Okay, roll call vote, please, Jared. On the motion to approve, Ms. Bennett. Yes. Mr. Bekowski. Yes. Mr. DeMarco. Yes. Mr. Dewar. Yes. Ms. Filiaggi. Yes. Mr. Fatoulis. Yes. Ms. Hallam. Yes. Mr. Klein. Yes. Mr. Macy. Ms. Nacaretti Chapkis. Yes. Mr. Palmieri. Yes. Mr. Palmasina. Yes. Ms. Prizio. Yes. Mr. Walton. Me being the colorful person that I am, a resounding yes. <laughs> President Katina. Yes. Eyes 14, no zero with one, one member absent. The appointment passes. 12392-22. Approving the appointment of Reverend Mary Ann Trafaro to the Human Relations Commission for a term to expire on December 31st, 2025, sponsored by the Chief Executive. I'd like to make a motion um, to move forward with this appointment. I'll second. Motion has been made and seconded. Nick, do you want to roll call on this one too? Uh, no. <laughs> Please put it on the record. You're, we all vote. You're good yeah. with the you're good with the voice vote on this one. Just wanted to check. Okay. <laughs> all those in all the motion has been made and second. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 All those opposed. Motion carries. Committee on Budget and Finance for the second reading, 12420-22. A resolution of the County of Allegheny amending the Grants and Special Accounts Budget for 2022, submission number 03-22, sponsored by the Chief Executive. Councilman Palmasina. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, the Budget and Finance Committee met on September 7th and affirmatively recommended this bill that would allow for the acceptance of approximately $4.75 million in grant funding from the PA Department of Community and Economic Development for the use by Elections Division for the Administration of Elections. I move for approval. Second. The motion has been made and seconded. Any discussion? President Katina. Go ahead. <laughs> Not sure if the mic's working. Um, everyone here knows that there's no free lunch. And this money, it's a lot of money, does come with conditions. And two of them have, have given me some pause. Uh, the first one is that the, in Act 88, it says that the, the county cannot begin pre-canvassing until 7 a.m. on the day of election. And I'm not comfortable that I understand what impact that might have on our ability to cure ballots. The second issue is that the county shall begin canvassing mail-in ballots at 8 p.m. on election day. And my understanding, which may be incorrect, is that current county practice has been to begin the pre-canvassing in the morning, but then actually to begin canvassing during the day so that 
shortly after 8 p.m., many, if not most, of the uh, absentee ballots might, might be made available. And my read, plain reading of Act 88 is that that process could not begin until 8 p.m. So thank you, President Katina. Thank you. Councilwoman Yeah, point of personal privilege, President Katina. I have uh, similar questions. And I know uh, Jerry's in the room, Jerry Tishkevich. I don't want to put you on the spot, but if President Katina will just allow us, can we clarify for council what restrictions this grant would place us under that are different than the restrictions that Pennsylvania laws governing canvassing and pre-canvassing of mail-in ballots already place us under? Like what additional restrictions are we agreeing to by way of accepting this grant funding? President Katina, I would like to ask your permission for an answer from someone in the county. Oh, is that Alan? I'm sorry. I thought that was Jerry sitting next to him, Alan. I can't see that far. I thought that was Jerry sitting next to you. I can't see that far. Alan. I'm like, I don't want your glasses. The only change, Harold, sit me from the lobby party. I do all the election stuff. Go to the podium. Thank you so much, Alan. I just saw a brown haired head. I'm sorry. Okay. Oh, okay. The only difference is that under Act, it's 88, that we're obligated to canvas until, continuously until done. Um, that's not going to be an issue. And the pre-canvas, by definition, is until 8 o'clock, then it turns into a canvas. So, and I think Sam would agree, and Bethany as board members, not, nothing's going to change. We're going to approach it and do things as, as we've always done since Act 77, since 2020. Thank you. Okay. So the motion has been made and second. Any other discussion? Jerry, no other discussion. Jerry, please take a roll call vote. On the motion to approve, Ms. Bennett? Yes. Mr. Bekowski? No. Mr. DeMarco? Yes. Mr. Dewar? Yes. Ms. Filiaggi? Yes. Mr. Fatoulis? Yes. Ms. Hallam? Yes. Mr. Klein? Yes. Mr. Macy? Ms. nacaretti chavis Yes. Mr. Palmieri? Yes. Mr. Palmasina? Yes. Ms. Prizio? Yes. Mr. Walton? Yes. President Katina? Yes. Ayes 13, no zero, with one member absent. The bill passes. No. I apologize, it was no as one. Thank you, Mr. Dewar. Committee on Economic Development and Housing for the second reasoning, 12397-22. An ordinance approving the sale of the county's interest in a parcel of property identified as Potomac Street, Oakmont, Pennsylvania, 15139, block, block and lot number 0362F00087 for the sale price of $1,000 to Mrs. Donna DeTurk and sharing the sale... The uh, sharing of the sale price with Oakmont and the Riverview School District, sponsored by the Chief Executive. Councilman Bukowski? Yeah, the Committee on Economic Development and Housing you met and affirmatively recommended the council uh, approval of this resolute ordinance. And if I can just add a brief commentary, I, I appreciate seeing these because it brings properties that have been long abandoned, often you know, overgrown and misused and brings them back on the tax rolls and puts them in the hands of a responsible homeowner helping to eliminate some blight. So I make a motion for approval. Second. Motion has been made and seconded. Any discussion? <clears throat> Hearing no discussion, Jared, please take a roll call vote. On the motion to approve, Ms. Bennett? Yes. Mr. Bekowski? Yes. Mr. DeMarco? Yes. Mr. Dewar? Yes. Ms. Filiaggi? Yes. Mr. Fatulis? Yes. Ms. Hallam? Yes. Mr. Klein? Yes. Mr. Macy? Ms. nacaretti chapkis Yes. Mr. Palmieri? Yes. Mr. Palmasina? Yes. Ms. Prizio? Yes. Mr. Walton? Uh, yes. Thank you. President Katina? Yes. Eyes 14, nose really zero this time with one member absent. The bill passes. Committee on Health and Human Services for the second reading, 12400-22. An ordinance of the Council of the County of Allegheny ratifying amendments to section 2102.03, permits generally, section 2102.04, installation permits, section 2103.11, operating permits applications, and other sections of the Allegheny County Health Department rules and regulations, article 21, air pollution control, related to permit hearing, advertising notice, and permit petition requirements, sponsored by the Chief Executive. Councilman Klein? 
Uh, thank you, Mr. President. At its uh, meeting on September the 8th, the Committee on Health and Human Services affirmatively recommended council approval of this ordinance. And at this time, I would entertain a motion to approve. Second. Motion has been made and seconded. Any discussion on this one? Hearing no discussion, Derek, please take the roll call vote. On the motion to approve, Ms. Bennett? Yes. Mr. Betkowski? Yes. Mr. DeMarco? Yes. Mr. Dewar? Yes. Ms. Filiaggi? Mr. Fatoulis? Yes. Ms. Hallam? Yes. Mr. Klein? Yes. Mr. Macy? Ms. Nacaretti Chapkis? Yes. Mr. Paul Mary? Yes. Mr. Paul Messina? Yes. Ms. Prizio? Yes. Mr. Walton? Yes. President Katina? Yes. Eyes 14, no zero, with one member absent. The bill passes. 12401-22. An ordinance of the Council of the County of Allegheny ratifying amendments that revise section 2104.08 national emission standards for hazardous air pollutants and section 2101.20 definitions of the Allegheny County Health Department rules and regulations article 21 air pollution control sponsored by the chief executive. Councilman Klein. Uh, thank you Mr. President. At its meeting on September 8th the Committee on Health and Human Services affirmatively recommended council approval uh, of this ordinance and at this time uh, I would move for its approval by council. Second. Motion has been made and seconded. Any discussion? Hearing no discussion, Jared, please take the roll call vote. On the motion to approve, Ms. Bennett? Yes. Mr. Betkowski? Yes. Mr. DeMarco? Yes. Mr. Dewar? Yes. Ms. Filiaggi? Yes. Mr. Fatoulis? Yes. Ms. Hallam? Yes. Mr. Klein? Yes. Mr. Macy? Ms. Nacaretti Chapkis? Yes. Mr. Paul Mary? Yes. Mr. Paul Messina? Yes. Ms. Prizio? Yes. Mr. Walton? Yes. President Katina. Yes. Ayes 14, no zero, with one member absent. The bill passes. Committee on Sustainability and Green Initiatives for the second reading, 12402-22. An ordinance of the County of Allegheny, Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, providing for the creation of a separate county department within Allegheny County government, effective as of January 1st, 2023, to be known as the Department of Sustainability, setting forth the duties, functions, and responsibilities of the Department of Sustainability within, within Allegheny County government, and amending Chapter OC of the County Code of Ordinances entitled Organizational Chart to reflect the creation of the Department of Sustainability, sponsored by the Chief Executive and all members of Council. Councilwoman Fritzio. Thank you very much, uh, President August 31st, the Committee on Sustainability and Green Initiatives met. And I, I just like to note that all members of council, all members of council sponsored this along with the chief executive. I am so thrilled that the community the committee affirmatively recommended um, to establish a department and I'd like to uh, entertain a motion. Second. Motion has been made seconded. Is there any discussion? Just Go ahead. One thing. Yeah, I just, uh, before we vote, just want to make sure we all tip our hats to Councilwoman Prizio because I remember when you started the fight for this and it's now happening tonight and I know all of our names are on it and I'm glad that we're all pushing this forward together, but I just know that it wouldn't have happened without you and so I just wanted to thank you for all your hard work on this. Thank you. You have done a fabulous job with your committee, Anita, so thank you. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I would also like to say congratulations to you and to all of the residents of Allegheny County for your efforts. Um, I've only been on this committee or this council a short time and um, there are some things that's tough to get done, but you've done it. Congratulations and, and I understand um, we, we are all behind you, truly. So good luck and keep us all informed and on our toes. Thank you. The motion has been made and seconded. Jared, please take the rule. On the motion to approve, Ms. Bennett? Yes. Mr. Betkowski? Yes. Mr. DeMarco? Yes. Mr. Dewar? Yes. Ms. Filiaggi? Yes. Mr. Fatoulis? Yes. Ms. Hallam? Yes. Mr. Klein? Yes. Mr. Macy? Ms. Nacaretti Chapkis? Yes. Mr. Palmieri? Yes. Mr. Palmasina? Yes. Ms. Prizio? Yes. Mr. Walton? Yes. President Katina? Yes. Eyes 14, no zero, with one member absent. The bill passes. Are there any liaison reports this evening? Hearing none, we'll move on to new business ordinances and resolutions, 12442-22. An ordinance authorizing the County of Allegheny in conjunction with the Department of Public Works and the Law Department to convey by quitclaim deed one parcel of county-owned land identified as block and lot 15C202 to the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania Department of Transportation, sponsored by the Chief Executive. Now we'll go to Public Works. 
12443-22. An ordinance authorizing the County of Allegheny in conjunction with the Department of Public Works and the Law Department to donate a portion of Block and Lot 375C191 and a portion of Block and Lot 375C185 located in the Borough of North Braddock, Allegheny County, Commonwealth of Pennsylvania to the Pennsylvania Department of Transportation sponsored by the Chief Executive. That would go to Public Works as well. 12444-22. An ordinance of the County of Allegheny, Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, authorizing the acceptance of a donation to the county of approximately one half acre of land located contiguous to the county's White Oak Park, sponsored by the Chief Executive. That will go to the Committee on Parks. Uh, we now have new business motions. 12438-22. A motion to enter into an agreement for legal services with the law firm of Gearing, Rudder, and Beam, sponsored by Council Members Paul Mary and Katina. Council McCline. Uh, yes, this uh, motion uh, tells us what it's all about, and this is to authorize uh, our entering into an agreement for legal services with Goering, Rudder, and Beam. Thank you. Is there a second? Second. Motion has been made and seconded. Is there any discussion? Hearing no discussion. Do we get a roll call on this one? Your discretion. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 All those aye. opposed? Aye. Motion carries. 12439-22. A motion to enter an agreement for legal services with the law firm of Dickey, McCamey, and Chilcott, sponsored by Council Members Paul Mary and Katina. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, I couldn't have said it better myself. This again is a motion to enter into an agreement for legal services, this time with the law firm of Dickey, McCamey, and Chilcott. Second. Motion has been made. Second. Is there any discussion? Carry no discussion. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 All those opposed? Motion carries. Uh, are there any other motions this evening? There are not. Okay. Notifications of contracts. One, two, four, four, one. Dash two, two. A communication summarizing approved executive actions for the month of August 2022. So moved. Second. Motion has been made and seconded. Any discussion? Hearing no discussion. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 All those opposed? Motion carries. No public comment on general items. We have four individuals signed up, the first of whom is Nabeen Sharma. Hello, I'm Nabeen Sharma and I'm a traumatic brain injury survivor. And I have been in peace for very long, but recently when I interface with legal system as well as community services, public sector, private sector, as well as non-profit organization, I did not see uh, like invisible disability accommodation in county level places. And I was raising this issue state level as well as federal level. Finally, federal level, they passed in August 16, 2022 for TBI and PTSD personnel. They need to be taken care of by different route, by law, law enforcement people. And I am requesting I need that type of accommodation sooner, otherwise I will jeopardize my own life. Right now I am going on medication and doctor recommendation, all those are ignoring some Entity I cannot disclose here, and I found there is no setup of invisible disabled accommodation, data breach, HIPAA rules, regulation, as well as um, like protection, safety, security. I myself in this country since 1993, and I'm Asali. I have uh, two minor children. They born in Allegheny County, and I have a family here and I have a safety, security, protection issues. And when I try to deal with court system, from court told me go to one order, to one place, do certain tax, that place says no, this is not the place you're supposed to do this one. This is different type of place. And I don't know where I can go and request my trouble. Right now I'm facing, there are a lot of people who went to war, Iraq, Iran, they might face this type of situation. I am just alerting or I am just informing you. People like me, where we go and get the help. That's, that's all. And this is my first time. I'm sorry. I didn't know I'm coming for, like, not formal dress or anything. And plus, 
Right now, I'm going on speech therapy. When I speak, I cannot utilize proper word in proper sentence, but I'm getting health really good. Health professional, health facility I found this county, this place, really marvelous. I thank to the God. I'm in a good place for health treatment. But legal side and little bit miscommunication between data transmit from one place to another is not finding safe, secure for public like me. I just want to alert or I just want to inform. I face, I have a real valid document. That information I got from children, youth, and family to family court, family court to other place called track. Can you even wrap it up? Oh, I'm sorry, I, I, I didn't know. I have a time limit. I'm sorry, I want to wrap it up right away, right away. If you somebody give me some direction, that will relieve my sorrow as well as people like me can survive, can thrill, can work better. That's what I want to do. We'll thank have you. someone get with you after the Allah, meeting. Allah, thank you for giving me opportunity to talk. Thanks. Thank you. Can you get with him after the meeting, please? Go ahead, Jer. Next up is Jackson Walker. <laughs> Next up would be Lindsay Fraser. Can you please mute your phone? Thank you. Go ahead. Hi, my name is Lindsay Frazier. I'm the mayor of Brackenridge Borough, Pennsylvania. Um, I registered for this meeting while I was working with Councilman DeMarco on getting um, funding for the, our body-worn cameras. And so, and I've, I've since been working with him on that, but I still wanted to take this time, first of all, to introduce myself, um, but also just to advocate on behalf of those outer ring municipalities. Ever since I've been hearing adults in my town talk about government when I was a kid um, out in, in my area, we've been talking about living Allegheny County. Um, and it's one of those things where we feel like very disconnected from the county processes that happen um, more centrally to the city. And so I wanted to take this moment to maybe make some of those connections. I know we're pretty acutely feeling that right now because we are um, right across the bridge from New Ken and Arnold and we're seeing that Westmoreland County is doling out those ARPA funds where they just divided by the number of municipalities and then cut checks. And I know that that's not what we did in Allegheny County and it really disadvantaged a lot of those smaller municipalities that don't have tens of thousands of dollars to pay administrative staffs to put those kind of grant applications and asks together. So some of the places that needed the most help got the least because of the the way that we, we doled out those funds. And we're similarly seeing a lot of the checks from the opiate um, settlements come online now, but Allegheny County was pulled out of that. And I don't know what the status of that is. We could we, it was my understanding that we were not part of the, the federal settlement because Allegheny County was seeking their own um, settlement. And so I just, um, yeah, just wanted to take a minute and, and, and bring that to your attention. And also as mayor, um, being aware of the independent police review board that is being put together as well as um, the um, alternative emergency response work that's going on with the Harvard, the government performance lab. And I just don't know what I can do as mayor of an outer ring borough to connect us into some of those opportunities um, that don't exactly get communicated out to those outer ring municipalities. So thank you very much. Thank you. Go ahead. Last but not least is Mike Sully. Good evening. Uh, it's a pleasure to be here again. Uh, I'm Mike Sully. I was a consultant on the common level ratio lawsuit against Allegheny County. And uh, I'm going to start with I have good news and bad news. Good news. T.J. Watt's coming back, yes. <laughs> now I have to get serious, yeah. Bad news, uh, there are tens of thousands of people in Allegheny County paying more than they should be paying in property taxes because of the results of this lawsuit. I was going to be the first witness Somebody has to mute that mic. <laughs> I was going to be the first witness 
I didn't get a chance because the county solicitor said, hey, we'll do a recount, everything will be good. Everything's not good. For the last six years, people have been overcharged in assessment appeals because of mistakes. And uh, according to our attorney, John Silvestri, there is a uh, possible malfeasance <laughs> in this because we uh, did talk to a number of the assessors. We have memos where, uh, well, all of you know, Mr. Fitzgerald's goal was to maintain the base year, never do a reassessment. There's a memo from the chief assessor of Allegheny County to people in the assessment office saying we have to keep it above 85% or we're going to have a reassessment. That's how, that is not how things are supposed to be done in Allegheny County. I'm gonna ask you two things. Form an assessment committee. I was here in the early 2000s. There was an assessment committee by county council. This happened on your watch, not just Mr. Fitzgerald's. Back in, uh, back in 2005, I'm going to read from the Pittsburgh Post-Gazette. County Council President Rich Fitzgerald said he and his fellow council members have a duty to shield property owners from large tax increases. March of 2005. Now we're going to go back to the future, 2022. We have Rich, the 2022 version of Rich Fitzgerald who just puts up a veil of secrecy we have no idea why last year people were paying taxes on 87.5 and it, all of a sudden it dropped to 63.5. I've been saying this for years. I said it a year ago, even after the recount. Please, two things. Set up a committee to investigate what happened and why and make sure. Uh, Councilman Walton, you weren't here the last time. I was talking about Wilkinsburg where I grew up. If a, a property is over-assessed by $10,000, that's $500 more a year that a taxpayer pays. Fix it, fix it. Open the appeals window this year. I'm sure the administration wants to wait till next year. Just do the right thing, thank you. Thank you. To address your question, I'll address it right now. I am forming a special committee post haste to look into the assessment process. Uh, obviously, there I have serious concerns about what took place after reading the legal proceedings, and I do believe we have a responsibility to the taxpayers of Allegheny County to not only shield the taxpayers uh, for many unnecessary property tax increases, but also hold people accountable for what took place in the past and what took place in this court hearing. So I will be, I will be setting this up post haste. So that will be done, I assure you. Um, at this point in time, uh, since there's no other public comment, is there a motion to adjourn? No. Motion has been made, no, is there a second? Motion has been made and seconded. All those in favor signify by saying aye. aye. All those opposed, motion carries.